the whole thing seems to look so stupid, so meaningless. What am I doing? For what? Tomorrow I may die. And why do I go on accumulating wealth? Osho, in his book, The Dhammapad, The Way of Buddha, speaks about an amazing story. A story of a great master, Nagarjuna. It is believed that Nagarjuna took Buddhism to China, one of the greatest alchemists that India has ever seen. He used to live naked with just a begging bowl, a wooden begging bowl as his asset. But the greatest of the greatest kings worshipped him. Even queens worshipped him. It is said that one day he came to the capital of a kingdom in China and the queen came to meet him there. She touched his feet and said, I feel very much offended by your wooden bowl. You are a master of masters. Hundreds of kings and queens are your followers. I have prepared a golden bowl for you, studded with the most beautiful diamonds and emeralds on this bowl. And I want to give this to you. Please do not reject it. It will hurt me very much. For three years, the greatest of the artists have been working on this and now it is ready. Deep inside, she was afraid that Nagarjuna might say that I cannot touch gold. I have renounced the world. But Nagarjuna did not say anything like that. He said, okay, you can keep my begging bowl and give me that golden bowl that you have brought for me. Even the queen was a little shocked. She was thinking that Nagarjuna would say, I cannot accept it. She wanted him to accept it, but still, deep in her unconscious, somewhere, the old system of thinking was active, that the awakened ones have to live in poverty, in discomfort, as if discomfort and poverty have something spiritual within them. But Nagarjuna said, okay. In fact, he didn't even look at the golden bowl anymore and quietly left the place. A master thief of that kingdom was observing Nagarjuna and he saw Nagarjuna moving aside. Outside the capital, when Nagarjuna was still walking through the lanes of this capital, the thief was also following him. The thief knew that Nagarjuna would often rest in a ruined temple on the other bank of the river. The thief said, such a precious thing I have never seen in my life. So many diamonds, so many emeralds, so much of gold. I have seen many beautiful things in my life, but never seen such a thing. And how did this naked man get hold of it? And how is he going to protect it? Anybody will be able to take it away from him. So, why not me? The thief followed Nagarjuna. Nagarjuna heard his footsteps. He knew somebody is coming behind him, following him. Nagarjuna reached the temple. The temple was an absolute ruin. No roof, no doors, just a few walls were left in the temple anymore. The thief again thought, how is he going to protect such a precious thing? It's only a question of hours. So the thief sat outside the window, hiding behind the wall. Nagarjuna knew this. He is observing this. In a split of a second, Nagarjuna threw the bowl outside the window. Now, the thief was very much puzzled. The bowl just fell at the thief's feet. He was completely confused. 
what has this man done he could not believe his eyes he was shocked he stood up even though he was a thief even though he was a master thief he had some dignity he just couldn't walk off with the throne bowl he gathered courage peeped through the window and thanked nagarjuna he said sir i have to show my gratitude you are a rare man throwing such a precious thing as if it was nothing can i come inside and touch your feet sir nagarjuna said please come in in fact i have thrown that bowl out of the window just for the easiness for you to come in the thief could not understand what he was saying he came in looked at nagarjuna face to face his silence his peace his bliss the thief was overwhelmed wow how peaceful and integrated you are you seem to have gone beyond the world sir is there any possibility for me to reach this level of integration such individuality such compassion and such non attachment to things can i ever reach there asked the thief to nagarjuna nagarjuna said it is possible it is everybody's potential but the thief said wait let me tell you let me tell you one thing i have been many times to many saints and they all told me one thing first you stop stealing then anything else is possible without stopping stealing you cannot grow spiritual so please don't make that condition because that i cannot do it is impossible for me i have tried many a times and i have failed that many times it seems that is my very nature i have to go on stealing so please don't say stop stealing nagarjuna said <laughs> that that simply shows that you have never seen a master before those must have been ex thieves otherwise why should they be worried about stealing go on stealing and do everything as skillfully as possible it is good to be a master of any act now the thief was even shocked more what kind of man is this and he said then what do you suggest what is right what should i do he said i don't say anything is right and anything is wrong do one thing if you want to steal steal but steal consciously go to night enter into the house very alert open the doors open the locks but very consciously and then if you can steal steal but remain conscious and report to me after 7 days after 7 days the thief came back bowed down touched the feet of the master and said master please initiate me to become your disciple nagarjuna said why what about your stealing the thief said you are a cunning fellow i tried my best if i am conscious i cannot steal if i steal i am unconscious i cannot steal when i am conscious i can only steal when i am unconscious when i am conscious the whole thing seems to look so stupid so meaningless what am i doing for what tomorrow i may die and why do i go on accumulating wealth i have much more than i need even for generations for generations my assets are enough it looks so meaningless that i really want to stop this immediately 
for seven days I have entered into houses and I have come out empty handed and let me tell you master to be conscious is such a beautiful experience I have tasted it for the first time and it is just a small taste now I can imagine how much you would be enjoying life how much you would be celebrating now I know that you are the real king naked but you are the real king now I know that you have the real gold and we are all playing with the false gold the thief that day became a disciple of Nagarjuna and attained Buddhahood later hey my message to this story for you is so simple realize life is about living it consciously live a conscious life develop a deep awareness that life is a very short journey a journey from B to D B stands for birth and B stands for death between B and this alphabet D comes an alphabet C and C stands for choices between birth and death you are nothing but a byproduct of the choices you make in your life and my final message choose to live a life of consciousness choose to live a life of awareness